Welcome to the Football Today Show. It is a Wednesday, the 15th of May, for a special episode talking all things A-League finals. We've got what? The Arsenal women will be here next week. Yep. Newcastle will be here next week. Tottenham will be here next week. We have the final week of the EPL this weekend. I'm your host, Alex Donnelly. Finally back in the chair because, well... I don't know why I'm back. I'm actually really sad. I'm joined by another sad guy. It's the stats guy. I'm not sad. I'm always happy to be on the football today show, unlike uh, some people. But thank you very much for joining me, Alex. We're, we're back back in business. Yeah, i got a lot going on. <laughs> uh, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, the socials, and basically listen wherever you get a podcast. But of course, the socials, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X. A bunch of fun stuff coming out over the coming months. Watch this space. All right, stats guy. We start this show off with a yeah, no, I believe. Yes, always. You can start it with this one because right. I told you to do it because I'm, I'm ready. Yeah, Coming I, up I, the long run. I've always loved, loved Ange and uh, this one's about him. So Ange Postacoglu, obviously, uh, was Ange right in his criticism towards Tottenham as a club and its fans? So a bit of context there. Uh, a lot of our, uh, sorry, Tottenham fans were barracking uh, that Tot- Arsenal are going to lose the league, not concentrating on their own win. They can still make top four, obviously, Tottenham. And just going, what the hell is going this on? Terribly. Do you want to explain it more? Better, so, bit, bit, bit better Tottenham than played Manchester City this morning in the EPL. If yep. Tottenham were to, win, to that. if Tottenham were to win the game, their faint chances of getting into the Champions League were still alive. Yes, but by virtue of beating Manchester City, it would give Arsenal basically a free kick at winning the league because we expect Arsenal to beat Everton this weekend. Yep. A lot of Tottenham fans are like. No, let's bottle this game and throw it and not try. <laughs> That's such a crap so, way of supporting. So Arsenal don't win the league. And just basically without saying it, because he said, in the last 48 hours, I've learned this club is pretty fragile and there's a lot of issues here from within. Basically having a crack at the club and the fans adding into what Jose Mourinho and Antonio Antonio Conte had to say during their times at the club. As Ange said, we haven't won a a trophy since 2008, 2009. You get nothing for bragging rights. And how do we get bragging rights for finishing fifth? Yeah. Therefore, yeah. Yeah. So I think we'll both go yeah on this one. Ange is always... Pretty spot on in his press conference. He's straight down the line. He's he's always never going to uh, not uh, sway from his opinion. Yeah. And you can't be like that as a fan. I know, obviously, Tottenham and Arsenal will probably be two of the haters, most hated clubs. You're putting your yeah. own success yeah. to the side so your rivals don't win. It's yeah. like, this is probably your last <laughs> chance of making Champions League for, yeah. I would say, the next five years because your beloved Chelsea have the younger squad and are actually starting to play some decent football. Yeah. Newcastle won't have as horrendous as a year. Manchester United will turn it around once they sack that bald-headed bonce, uh, Eric <laughs> Ten Hag. And there's also Aston Villa who are in the Champions League now. Arsenal and Manchester City and probably Liverpool are locked in for the foreseeable future. I think I think the top three is set. And it's then the you got fourth. Tottenham still has big chance next year. Nah. They, they can only get better. I think they've had so many injuries. But you're right. Chelsea, I've, I've said this already. They've already they, spent they, the Harry Kane fin- money. Finishing strong. Have the, have the uh, foundations as long as there's not as many injuries. So, yes. So, you're right. Yeah. So, enjoy going to Gank on Thursday, you Spursy <laughs> tools. Gank. Suck what it. about Club Bruges? Uh, yeah, yeah, bring back <laughs> Club Bruges. <laughs> yeah. bring back hey, we Club love Bruges. Club Bruges. I'll be supporting <laughs> them over friggin' Tottenham. That'll be, that'll be but a it's just, buff. side note, Spurs fans, you are losers. Oh. Absolute losers. Go, oh, let's lose a game. <laughs> Missing out on millions on Champions League money. Good job. This is why you've <laughs> never won anything of note. Whoa. Anyway, A-League final stats, guys. Yes. We are getting to the important part of the year. Side note, do we love the two-league semifinals? I hate it. I I didn't like it because we'll get into that. There was a draw and yeah. you get a nil all draw and you don't get like penalties and extra time and things like that. But no, I like it. I think I think it's a bit more excitement. It means both teams get the home. So uh, what's it called? Victory wouldn't have had a home game. Sydney would have had a, had another home game. So at least you get to go to your team and get to see another final. That's that's my theory. It's just like, like it. we're, we're a, so- a football league in Australia that doesn't finish when the season actually ends and we go to finals and grand finals and then I, I love more football, just like Jim in the Exactly, this is more football. Feed, feed me footy, yeah, just more, feed me footy. This is more football. But I, I don't like, just, I, I'd rather it end at the end of the season and be like, hey, Premiers, top of the league, bang. Yeah, yeah. None of these I think it's because we're in Australia, we're Australia and all of our sports same come down America. to finals. Same as America and things like yeah. that. So I, don't, I like it personally, but yeah. I can understand why the pure football fan doesn't always football like it. Football purist, we shall <laughs> say. All right, let's get into it. The game wrap. Sydney FC 1, Central Coast Mariners 2. Sydney FC had one shot and they scored. Good on them, but... No dice. Yeah, one shot on target. They scored. It was, uh, yeah, Central Coast Mariners dominated early. And then Sydney FC scored and you've gone, ooh, they might have a sneaky chance to steal this. Central Coast, obviously, top of the table. Uh, were yeah. dominating all year. They beat them. I think they beat Sydney in the last couple of meetings as well. But yeah, Joel King scored with their only shot on target. Then the, the, down the other end later in the match, Central Coach equalized. We've got Redmayne, the, uh, what was he, the Grey Wiggle that everyone yeah. everyone loves him in Australia, but he, he had a bit of a stinky here. Under the stands. He was, yeah, always just doing something crazy, but really sloppy defending and then really sloppy goalkeeping from him helped Central 
Central Coast equalize. Then, I'm not sure if you saw this one, Alex, but that was a really lucky penalty for Central Coast Mariners. I feel like the Sydney guy just went down way too easily. Hardly touched, uh, sorry, the Central Coast guy went down far yeah. too easily. Central Coast attacker, then Docker scores the penalty and uh, pretty yeah, much gets them the win. That was pretty much game over because Central Coast were dominating. Alu Kual, uh, obviously Gwain Kroll's brother. All the Kuals are just They're beasts. like the Dakonis They're so of good. I feel like he's going to go overseas as well. The Kual brothers are just awesome. So he was electric on the wing, really set up our Central Coast as he's been doing all season. Then you got a Jack Red Rod Rodwell, clear red card, two footer. I feel like you would do a two uh, two foot attack. Oh, on me 100%. or something in some of the videos we've probably got some videos of that clearly uh, red card just yeah. ended the match there Central Coast deserved to win dumb. it's probably 2-0 why would you do that yeah yeah. It was, it was so dumb so dumb that Sydney FC had no chance after that and uh, mm. Central Coast got the win Yeah. so second leg this weekend yeah. obviously so Central, Central Coast, Coast very handy getting that away win because Sydney FC have a massive fan base big crowd uh, as you've probably mm -hmm. been to a couple of matches up there back in the day so this yeah. Is, yeah this is in like PK like Dwight York Alessandro yeah. Del Piero oh nice nice yeah uh yeah, so that was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, Central Coast will go ahead and win this one for sure. I think they will. They were, they've been the best team all year. They've just got, same as last year, they're just getting so many guys overseas. They're just building, building, building all these young guys. Nisbet, who's small, he's, he's one yeah. of the smallest players in the whole world, scoring a goal as well. So love to see it. So Sydney, uh, Central Coast will go straight through to the grand final. I think so, yeah. Yep. Unless they somehow bottle it at their home ground with the uh, the big sauce bottles. And one of the best grounds actually in the A-League is their, is their I home would ground. Try Sorry, in the, in the world. I would try and punt the ball into, into the... Well, it's not the river, but I would just try and smash it's, it's it straight a, over yeah, into the sea every yeah. time. Yeah. Straight over the highway. <laughs> Bang. Uh, Melbourne victory, Anil. Wellington, Phoenix, Anil. Oh. How didn't victory win this? Mm. And this was just later just, oh, this is going to be a draw because no one wants to concede it. The last 15 minutes should have been exciting. Victory was still trying to attack. Yeah, yeah I was watching this snoozy. one as we are in here before the, uh, AFL, the AFL show. I sort of watched the highlights as well. Victory dominated. They had 20 shots to six. They had five shots on target, but all of those shots on target were straight at the goalkeeper. Yeah. The crowd was up and about. You had Evangeline on the violin, got the crowd going again. She's been awesome before the game. So the crowds are massive, and then victory sort of let him down. Awesome win last week uh, that Marcus and I were at, yeah. which was awesome. And then all these people, even more people came to this match to go, huh, victory knew how to score goals, even some really good bangers. Every shot just kept going towards the keeper, going towards the keeper, just wide, hit the crossbar. They just couldn't finish and very frustrating uh, for victory because now they've got to go go to Wellington, which is known as one of the most hostile environments in the A-League. So, and they're trying, yeah. they're screwing around with their local leagues as well yes. to make sure as many people get there. Yes, so I think it holds about 38,000. They've had a lot yeah. of games this year, about 30,000. They're going to fill it, I think. They've got all their local leagues, all their like sort of senior juniors are trying to schedule their matches in Wellington so that they can all go to the match. So I think uh, this might be lights out for victory. Wellington didn't play very well, but victory away are no, yeah, nowhere near as strong as when they have a full Emmy Park. So, and Wellington are going to be up and about. They'll be with their shirts off. I think it's yeah. every 80th minute. If it's a draw or they're winning, they all got their shirts <laughs> off. They're cold. all it, it would be freezing in That's Wellington, New right? New Zealand. There was one time I think they did that when it was like two degrees and they're all just got their shirts off going, going nuts. Off. I know, yeah. So yeah, I think, yeah, we'll get into that for some tips. But yeah. yeah, victory really didn't capitalize. Even if they just got one goal, they would have won 1-0 because Wellington couldn't get anywhere near the shots. So yeah. very disappointing for victory fans and like myself. So we're going into the semis, uh, obviously going into who's going to go through to the grand final. Yep. I feel like this is pretty simple that we're going to have Central Coast Wellington Phoenix grand final. Oh, I, I, the simple one isn't the Phoenix That's an victory one. Kit match up too, by Which the way. one? Oh, the Central, Central Coast. Coast yeah, they'll have a navy versus a yellow yeah. probably, which isn't too bad. The victory kit, I love the victory kit and I love the Sydney kit, so that would be a cool different two yeah. blues sort of matchup. Uh, I'll say I'm just being biased towards being a victory fan. I'm going to say victory win this 2-1. Yep. Just to randomly pull it out, get a few, maybe a red card early will help them, but it will be pretty hard in Wellington. And then I'm going to say, yeah, Central Coast I think could win this like 3-0. They played sure. a lot better and... Unstoppable at home. Yeah. Central Coast Wellington Phoenix Grand Final. Central Coast win. Back to a back, yeah, baby. Yeah. yeah. Another qual uh, dominating and getting a uh, premiership. That'd be pretty yeah. cool. Wasn't they win like 6-0 last year or something? Yeah, it was pretty something crazy. Yeah. That was yeah. insane. Anyway, all right. That is the A-League preview done and dusted. We'll take a short break. Be, up, be back after the break with some Aussies abroad. Have a look at the last week at the EPL. And we'll get social girl Olivia in for the trivia question because we fired Leo into the sun. <laughs> we'll be back after this. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover. All right, welcome back to the Football Today Podcast. We bring in social girl Olivia for her first appearance on the Football Today Podcast, bringing you this week's trivia question. Ooh. Welcome, Olivia. Oh, Hello, we boys. Who has more clean sheets in the WSL season, Micah or Arnold? 
Taking Maka. Maka, surely. Oh, uh, Arnold. Wrong. <laughs> Maka, <laughs> Maka has three, Arnold has two. Oh. Yeah, baby! Wait, did we say we were doing right then? Yeah. Yeah. Because we said Maka. West Ham are trash. Yeah, no yeah. offense, We West didn't Ham. buzz in. We usually buzz in. Yeah, that's all right. It's all right. No, that's a good question. Yeah. Yeah, there you go, Maka. Solid question. Yeah, that's that was a lot closer than I thought, though, because... Yeah, I thought, I'm shocked West Ham have two to be yeah, honest yeah yeah West Ham just uh, wasn't not on Mackenzie Arnold's fault they just had a really poor they defense no defense and then when Gory was out I was like oh where is it? where's their players yeah it's not great anyway, good question nice yeah. like anyway the, WSL. Uh, Arsenal women here next week to take on the A-League All-Stars that is next Friday at Docklands that's yes. going to be sick yes. I'm going to be there I'll be there I'll yeah. be there in my Arsenal pink it's going to be awesome I will be there not in Arsenal my, but I'll, uh, I'll be going for the uh, A-League uh, women's All-Stars actually yeah my, my Courtney Vine my, Can't wait to my see lovely it. partner will have on the uh, Stella McCartney Arsenal kit oh yeah, nice so we'll be up, decked out ready to go very nice can't wait for that all right Aussies abroad, let's get into it. We'll start off with the women's. Uh, Lydia Williams announced her retirement last week, which was hyped up as a big announcement when you think about it. It was but big, but it, it was a, a bit weird being on the project. There was a very random collaboration. There. I am all for <laughs> Tilly's crossover into the mainstream. Yeah, I, no, I agree, but it was just very weird. Channel 10 are the home of football for the Tillies, so it yeah, okay, makes that's sense. Was but also when you think about it, 19-year career, 103 international caps, Olympics, World Cup, Asian Cup. She's been a footballer of the year and goalkeeper of the year. Yeah, in so Australia. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. She's awesome an career. icon. And yep. in the last two years, the brick wall Mackenzie Arnold has taken over from her. Mm-hmm. Glittering career. Yeah. No, awesome career. She paved the way. She, uh, I saw a video last night. She sung, sung, sings the team song. Did you see about mm-hmm. that? The, uh, yeah, the song they sing on the bus or in the rooms. So she, I, I was going to... Uh, put this question to you but I think it's a pretty obvious answer right. who's the next leader of the song so every time you know how Nathan Lyon in yeah. the cricket you got a few different sports have their team song I think there is an obvious answer that's Cara Cooney Cross no or, or Ali Carpenter she does the French uh, oh, team yeah, she goes course. nuts I think Alana Kennedy could be an option too Alana Kennedy I, it might be someone a little bit older than Ali Carpenter but I wouldn't be or surprised if it's someone her. who's young who can do it for the next decade yeah. Ali Carpenter is loud. She she does it for the French team in yeah. French, so yeah. she should be doing it for we the Aussie meet. team. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Get it. <laughs> Even get uh, Kyra Cooney cross fired up. She'd be ready to go. <laughs> yeah. One of them. All right. We'll, we'll watch. I feel this like that's space. not a sort of type, type of thing, but I don't know her that well. So weird unit. Yeah. <laughs> Love her. Absolute weird unit. <laughs> Love her. Uh, Charlie Grant. She was the twelfth Aussie to compete in the Women's FA Cup yes. final for Tottenham. But, what did Tottenham do in final stats, guys? Uh, I didn't think it would cross over to the women's, but what did they did. do? Yeah, they bottled it. They lose. They 4 0, s- yeah. 4 0 lost to Manchester United at Wembley. Uh, good to see the Manchester United owners not going to support their ladies' team by Ooh, going really? to Old Trafford to watch their team be pathetic against Arsenal. Yeah, that's a bit That's a bit crap. Good yeah. job, Ineos. Good start. But yeah, Ala uh, Toon was awesome. She's got an absolute yeah. banger. I, I love watching rules, her. Man. She's so good. She's unbelievable. Yeah. That, that whole Man U team, I think they were. They've underperformed. Underperformed, I was going to say that. Fifth with a team that they have on on paper they should be in the top I'd say top four top I was going to say top three but then you got Man City Chelsea and Arsenal they should be up there should be at least top four so they're probably one or two spots below where they should be yeah. they've had a yeah they've had a year where like things should that could have gone wrong have gone wrong for mm. them it hasn't worked out but they've got an FA Cup I'm just happy that Charlie Grant's getting some game time yes she yelling. came on in the second half awesome I think next season I wouldn't be surprised if she's more in the yeah, starting you think, she'll, you think she'll get more time there also to the weird people I know I'm an Arsenal fan and I hate Tottenham that, <laughs> that holds to the men's Yes. People who are yelling at Kyra Cooney Cross for going and literally supporting her best friend in a competition that Arsenal that were was, not yeah, involved yeah. in. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. If Martin Odegaard wore a Tottenham scarf, I'd want him shot. <laughs> you know, hung, drawn, and quartered, all of that. But I feel that is these rivalries in the women's side of it. Yes, the rivalries are real and that yep. they're there. Yep. Arsenal and Chelsea hate each other. So I doubt you'd see Caitlin Ford wearing a Chelsea scarf supporting yep. Sam Kerr. But... When these two, Charlie Grant and Cooney Cross, have come up through the Australian system together, they've all been overseas, you know, plying their trade. It's good that they're, they're all supporting close each other. and it's a tight knit yeah. group. And yeah. I feel like it's the same around all of Europe with a lot of teams from their different nationalities, yep. like England, uh, Spain, they, and Germany all do the same. But it's like they've both been there for what half a season to a full season. The Arsenal Let weren't be. even in Let the FA be. Cup. Exactly, yeah. Who cares? Yeah, I agree. It's just... It happens in the men as well. You, there's a lot of guys just from supporting their uh, country, other fellow country people. So you, yeah. you might as well do that. It's yeah. their best friend. Like, yeah. It's it's different. These, like, the, the battles that the women have had to go through to go from semi-professional to professional mm-hmm. and build that brand is just completely different. It's something that we, as dudes, will never understand. So... True. To all the dudes who go, oh, you shouldn't do that. Oh, you <laughs> Shut up. Yep, yep. Go outside and touch some grass. <laughs> Speaking of touching grass, Claire Hunt's PSG won the French League semi-final and they're now into the final against Lyon and Ellie Carpenter. Yes, that's a cool matchup. Claire Hunt, 
unfortunately didn't come on. She's got uh, a stress fracture in her foot, doesn't well, she? Well, she's been she's in the lineup again, but yeah, coming back from injury, so she didn't. I'm not sure if she'll play in the final, but it's. Pretty cool that we've got yeah two superstars from the Matildas facing off in a uh, Division One French final. So Leon will very, win that. Or yeah, they're the dominant. French I think team. so. Well, they only just scraped over Lyon PSG in penalties. So yeah. yeah, I think you'd be backing Leon. They're they're amazing. Mm. Can't wait. We've also got the two friendlies coming up uh, next month. Yes, couple of weeks. Yes, couple of weeks in against China. Yeah, yeah. Uh, against China, Adelaide Oval, and I always forget uh, the dates. Yes, in a couple of weeks. Yep. Hell yeah, thirty first of May. Maybe a live stream. Yeah, Maybe. yeah. Oh, what time is it? Spitball, I'm spitballing on it. 8:10 and 7:40. It's doable. No, we're doing the Monday one. We ain't doing. We ain't doing <laughs> the Adelaide one. We'll do the second one. All right. Uh, well. Anyway, to the men's. Touch on that later. Men's Cameron Burgess and Mas Luongo promoted with Ipswich. Yes, we talked about this briefly last one. That awesome that there's two Aussies going to be back in the Premier League. Does I mean, this, they, yeah. we don't know that they're going to be there. I think Burgess definitely will because yep. he literally was scoring winners to get him through the, through the playoffs. Luongo, Luongo came off the bench, but he's shown before. He was in the Premier League with QPR, I believe. Yep. Marcus and I were talking about yep. it last show. He had, definitely has the quality. It's a weird one. He's retired from international football, so he doesn't play for Australia anymore, but he still could be in the Premier League. So, yeah, a bit of money, and uh, yeah, they're dominating for Ipswich, so Ipswich Town. So going to be interesting to see how Ipswich go next year because they seem fun, and they also said, oh, we're going to spend some money to try and stay up, which... Could work, or it's a catastrophe then, yeah, in this group. It's happened before when teams spend way more than they should. Fulham, and then they go, four years ago. Fulham. Yeah, exactly. Shout out to Tony Khan. <laughs> yeah, Jack. he's got too much money anyway. He can spend it. <laughs> he owned Jacksonville, mate. Yeah, yeah. What are that, you doing? Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, and not many successful teams. Yeah, someone's like, oh, you're paying Kazuchika Okada $4 million, and that's too much money. Dude <laughs> pays Alex Awobi $5 million a year. Four. $4 million for the best wrestler in the world. Ain't Jack. I didn't know Awobi was the best wrestler in the world. Shut up. <laughs> He's got the hair for it. Anyway. <laughs> he does, he does. Uh, speaking of hair, Jackson Irvine and Connor Metcalf, they yes. were doing shoeys after being promoted to the Bundesliga with St. Pauli, who have the most awesome football entrance ever. We were talking about that. You got the the skull, which is their logo, skull as you're going out to uh, to play. But then they turn on the red light, and it's just graffiti, and it just looks like the scariest thing ever, like out of a horror movie. You're walking out to well, play. It's just like walking into that nightclub in Berlin. Where yeah, you, yeah. You it, know, looks like, it does look like a German German sort of vibe, doesn't it? Yeah. Real big German vibes. Nightclub, yeah. That's going to be sweet. But yeah, they're up into the... Uh, Bundesliga, the first division. So it's just so many Aussies. And then I've, I forgot, oh, what's his name? There's another one from Palmer yeah. Culture as well that's going up in Aussie. I forgot his name that we talked about last week as well. Yeah. So there's just Aussies everywhere going to be back into the top divisions of, of yeah. uh, leagues, which we haven't had for probably five years, I reckon. We haven't yeah. had many Aussies. Having, having it's, if, if anyone who, who is listening to this isn't a subscriber to Code Sports, subscribe to Code Sports and go look at the five, uh, five article piece that Adam mm-hmm. Peacock did yeah. on... Australian football, basically, what's broken, what we can do to improve, mm-hmm. and it's it's a brilliant. It'll probably it's about an hour's worth of reading. It's phenomenal. Also, listen to the podcast with him, Bozza, and Robbie Slater. Oh, I'm viewing. listening. To that yeah. One. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to give that a listen. Yeah, Gerald, please chuck the uh, please chuck that link in the show notes. <laughs> oh, Let's, actually, the other one I didn't mention was Harry Sutar as well. It'll be interesting to see if Lester. he holds his spot, but. Yeah, Leicester are back up. He was in. He couldn't he'll get probably a, go back. He'll probably get relegated. Maybe back again. to Stoke. Superstar. Back to Stoke. Yeah. No, I think he. I think he'll be okay. He's such a uh, superstar, but he, every time he's gotten injured, he's got gotten worse and worse, and he can't get. He's back good in enough outside. to be in the Prem. Yeah. We, we need more Australians in the top leagues yeah. to be well, competitive. This is the most we've had in ages. So although some of the grassroots stuff, which we've talked about, bit of a worry, at least there's some people that they can look up to in the top yeah. league. So love to yeah. say that. Uh, and Gethin Jones had an assist which helped Bolton towards Wembley in a League One playoff final. Bolton played Oxford United. Well, no, this the final is, sorry, I, I wrote that a bit yeah, wrong there. Bolton on, are playing go. Oxford United in the League One ah. playoff final. So this is to get promoted. Uh, to the yeah, championship. Championship. The, Champion, the championship. 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 Uh, yeah, so that'll be interesting. Bolton, I think Oxford will be favourites in that one, but awesome. Gethin Jones, is, he's been, I think There's he started a lot of- English names, Bolton yeah, and Oxford. Yeah, even Gethin, what type of name is that? And he's uh, yeah, going to be really good. And uh, he's been playing for the Socceroos, so good that he's gone well for- uh, Bolton. I was about to say, get up to the championship, man. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. All right. EPL, final game week. I didn't know if you really wanted to talk about this being an Arsenal <sighs> fan, but here, here we are. The final game week, Monday at 1 a.m. All the games start at the same time. I'll be watching. Every year, uh, big room mates, we always uh, yeah watch the 1 a.m. games. I'll, I'll be surprised if you watch it, but oh, no, you're tempted. No. Oh, yeah. You'll have no. to set your alarm. you got to be like, hey. Oh, mate, I'll be in bed at 9. <laughs> like, no, because well, we've got the the AFL show. The last game doesn't oh, finish till like 9.30. Sleep in here. <laughs> You'll sleep. So the final AFL game finishes at 9.30. We do the show like 9.45. I'm home at 11. I'm just like, all right, I'm just, I'm committing. You're up, you're I'm up. Get, get some uh, Monster yeah. or Red Bulls into you and you'll yeah. be, you'll Sugar be monster, mate. Sugar-free <laughs> monster. Uh, well, we already know there's no relegation battle unless... Um, oh, there is a little bit, isn't there? Dude, Luton have to win 13-0. 
Oh yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> I forgot about the goal difference. Yeah, that, uh, yeah anything's possible. Anything's <laughs> Luton have to kick thirteen the goals for the year. How uh, many goals do they keep for the year? Fifty. 50 so yeah. Luton, Burnley, and Sheffield—they're all gone. Um, yes, three up, straight down. R.I.P. Man City after beating Tottenham this morning, eighty-eight points. My beloved <laughs> Arsenal. Don't be so excited. Eighty-six points. Oh yes. <sighs> Comes down to this. I actually didn't want either. It's it's obviously going to be Arsenal. More importantly, City, as a Chelsea fan, I didn't want either of them. I've to win. cashed my best bet for the season that we had on the preview for the season. You did. It was uh, Arsenal without Manchester City to win the league. Yes. So no matter what happens now, you're good. That's well, good. I was sweet like two weeks ago. Yeah. I Love don't. It. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm getting. I'm getting money next. I just don't care. <laughs> so Manchester City would have to. This would be one of the historic mm. chokes if yep. they were to lose to West Ham at the Etihad this weekend. West Ham have won one of their last five games. Their goal difference is negative 12. They've got nothing to play for. They're ninth. Yes, they can get up to eighth if Manchester if they win and Manchester United lose, but getting to eighth does nothing for them. It is David Moyes' final game as manager for West Ham. The only thing is, yeah, that yeah. West Ham have going for them is they get an alleged £5 million bonus from Arsenal if Declan Rice... Is a part well, if Arsenal win the league? I know that's a five million, five million's not that much in five terms of five million dollars is someone's team. salary for a year. Yeah, so yeah, true. But I feel like that's not gonna like they're not gonna be thinking about that until let's, afterwards. Let's be yeah. logical here. Yeah, it would be the greatest night of my life if this were to happen. <laughs> you are, oh, Monday will be a big party on. Uh, oh, I'll, if, be, uh, I'll be sinking tears. Oh, yeah, that'd be crazy if West Ham. I think West Ham. I'm gonna have a quick look. Have lost. What oh, is yeah, it? They suck. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god, I can't even. I think it's about. Yeah, twelve of the last thirteen against yeah. uh, City. So yeah. I don't think they're going to win. They lost three one at home, uh, West Ham last time. Now they're going to go to the Etihad. Yeah, I think no, that's it's not, that's ha- cool. it's so, not happening. Let's be so honest. sorry, but all the Arsenal fans out there. But it is exciting yeah. that we are getting to the final day of the season and we need results. Yeah, like, because the thing is, if this is a draw, and Arsenal win, Arsenal win the title. Yep. So that's that's where we're at. So if West Ham somehow scrape out a draw. Arsenal just have to beat Everton and win. Arsenal do have this ridiculously good record on the final day at home. I think they've won the last seven final. Ooh, a lot of those wouldn't have mattered much. No, but it's like <laughs> last year. It's like this one matters a bit more. We were down, we were flat, and we've come out and kicked Wolves' heads. In. I think we won like six 0 or five 0 Yeah, I remember that actually. So yeah, yeah. it is Arsenal. Will, there's no way known Arsenal will be complacent here. Everton, they're safe. They've got nothing to play for. I know yep. they've won four of their last five, but it's like. Final day, you are coming to the Emirates where the fans are... Everton are in good form. It's still going to be a party at the Emirates. The fact that we've finished second, there is a chance we win the league. We're in the Champions League next year. There'll be a lot of people checking phones on the... uh, Oh, it'll be all that. This is the best thing. It's the only sport I can think of that has every single game on the last day at the same time. That's yeah. why I absolutely love it. That's why the World Cup was I get goal rush on uh, Optus Sport and you've just got goals flying everywhere. We've got a goal at the so Emirates. I will, I will have awesome. the TV on Arsenal. Yep. I'll have the iPad on Manchester City. Yep. So nice, that, nice. That'll be that'll be my setup on Very nice. Actually, on yeah, what will Sunday the main night. game be? Will the City so, West Ham be okay, the main so, game on Optus so Sport? So you think the Scottish commentator dude, he'll yep. be at the Manchester City game. Yep. And John Champion will probably be at, uh, so I can't remember what the Scottish dude's name is. It just slipped me. But John Champion <laughs> will be at the Arsenal game with like Andy Townsend which will be the main game on the on the goal rush because you know they have one main, probably will be City, City just because they can they're be on the title yeah. Yeah. yeah whereas the other game will be yeah Arsenal and yeah so they might swap it if, if uh, City are losing well or that's something. it yeah <laughs> I'm just I'm just going to go straight up Arsenal game and have a go let's run through these games anyway stats guy all of them yeah, we can just go. All right. Quick hit piece. Liverpool, final game for Jurgen Klopp. This is going to be yeah. very emotional. So if, They if, could win this like 10 nil. <laughs> I hope, like, for Liverpool fans in Australia, I do hope that Optus Sport or whoever, whoever the world feed and, you know, all that that comes into it, they do play the aftermath. So, like, for the... Just keep the cameras... They usually the cameras do will be rolling. on the last day. Keep the cameras rolling for the 40 to 50 minutes after the game there. Because Liverpool fans don't care who's going to win the title. They want to see Jurgen Klopp's final day, him doing the lap, yep. him thanking the crowd and all that. It is going to be emotional. They are going to absolutely pump Wolves. Yeah, Wolves, I are, think Wolves they will. they've been in good form. They've got nothing to play for. This is a Liverpool Wol- win. Wolves have lost. No, they haven't been in good form. For the last five, they've lost. Yeah, so. but, they've, but who have they lost to? They, yeah, they haven't been too bad in terms of the overall season. I'll give yeah. you that. Yeah. So Wolves have been one of the surprise packets of the year. Sheffield United and Tottenham. Tottenham will probably end up drawing or losing this because it's Tottenham. <laughs> Ah, uh, they'll win. Sheffield. They'll win. They'll win. You just, you just want to see. Actually, if Tottenham do lose to Sheffield, uh, Chelsea still have a game in hand. We can technically you go above. Tomorrow morning. We can technically go above Tottenham, which oh, would yeah, be the funniest thing of all time. Yeah. Even even going above Newcastle, well, which is going to happen tomorrow morning. Yeah. Quickly, tomorrow morning, so as in Thursday morning, Chelsea will beat Brighton. Newcastle will beat Man United. Oh yeah, you'd yep. think so, but I wouldn't be surprised if Man U win randomly because Newcastle is so Mate, up and down. I watch Man United on Sunday night. 
How pathetic. <laughs> I know. Luton Town and Fulham in the final game, final home game for Luton. I wouldn't be surprised if they got a draw or a win in this because Fulham, yeah. they're safe. And Luton at home have been good all season. Luton at home, the Hatters, yeah, their crowd's awesome. They're still playing in the shed, so yep. yeah, the shed will be fine. I'm going to go Luton. Yep. Brighton and Man United, I don't care. <laughs> draw. It, but they're both crap. They're, where's so where's Brighton ended Brighton up? Brighton has been so poor. They were so good at the start. I'm going draw, yeah. Man City and West Ham, let's be honest. Man City are going to win this 5-0. I reckon Jared Bowen will score at least one. Okay. I reckon it could be like 3-1 because City, ha I don't think they can smash it. Same as last time, 3-1 was the score, so I'm going to go that. Arsenal and Everton. Now, you'd think with Arsenal... Everton! Everton 2-0. Yeah. Let's go. I think this is like a 3-1 <laughs> Arsenal. No, I think Arsenal will win. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think this is going to be an Arsenal smashing because Everton seemingly don't get pumped. No, they're because they're they got a really strong defense. They've got yeah. Pickford, they've got Decore, a few good guys. Yeah, there. but Onana might just be on his final day at Everton looking, geez, I'm going to look good in red next year. Just <laughs> come through Martin Odegaard. If this was at Craven uh, Cottage, I want to see. Not Craven Cottage. No, not Craven Goodison. Co Goodison Park. I don't know why. I could, we were just talking about Fulham. Goodison Park. You I give Everton almost, a chance. I'll give Everton a chance, but not. Nah, Everton Emirates, won't win this game. 3 0 probably yeah. to Arsenal. Arsenal's home record this year has been ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Brentford and Newcastle, final game of the season there. Tricky one, but you'd suggest. I don't know. Uh, Brentford, Marcus's call of Brentford getting relegated was almost. It was pretty close. He to that. was Newcastle. 16th. Newcastle have been poor. They had their farewell last weekend. High scoring affair. Brentford four three. Boy, that'd be cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll back that. There's I'll, always some high scoring ones. Yeah, like, yeah. Didn't Liverpool draw like four all with Bournemouth last year? They did. They did. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, I'll go Brentford as well. One at home. Crystal Palace and Aston Villa. Aston Villa have won one of their last ten games, and it was the one time that Unai that Emery right? has cared. Yeah, one of the no across all clubs. across all. But that seems like a lot. one of their Jeez. last ten. The day that they turned up to Manchester City, they're like we're playing the twos on the short break. The one time they didn't play the twos on the short break was against Arsenal. Thanks, Unai. <laughs> Crystal Palace are going to pump you. No, they're Crystal not. Crystal Palace are the second most informed team I know, at the moment in the EPL. I'm going to say... Palace at home will win. Villa, 3-2. That's what I'm going for. Palace, 4-2. Ooh. Burnley and Nottingham Forest, who cares? <laughs> uh, the battle of the losers, is it? Oh, but no, not, no, not sustained up at least. Burnley I'm, had started playing some good football too. Oh, good, as a, good as a stretch. Yeah. I'm going nuts, yeah. And you'll beat Bournemouth on the final day. It'll be... Four. Bournemouth have actually been really good. So. Bournemouth have been great. It'll be 3-1. I wouldn't be surprised if that's a draw, but I'll go, yeah, Chelsea. Because you're, well, you're still a chance of getting Europa League. So. Europa League. So we just need to get above Newcastle at the moment. So I'm hoping, I'm actually. Newcastle could win their last two and that just screws you up. I actually wouldn't mind Man U. Oh, no, but the Man U could go above us. I don't know. It's a bit of a tricky if one. If Chelsea and Newcastle both win their remaining games, uh, Newcastle finish six, you'll stay seventh because of goal difference. Like you're not making up 10 goals in two games. No, no, definitely not. Because <laughs> Newcastle will score as well. Yep. Um, all right, that is the final EPL game we've done. Uh, any big calls for the offseason before we head Ooh, into that? Uh, you I can't say 10 I was going to say Aussie men. I still think Aussie men, I know that was this was all the rumours last season. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes to Man U or Chelsea. Okay. But I know Chelsea just keeps spending money, but Victor Aussie men, hoping Chelsea because I'm biased, but I wouldn't be surprised if he goes to Man U because Man U really need a striker. They spent 80 million on Hoyland. I know, but it didn't really work, did it? <laughs> no, it did because it, they bought a yeah. they bought a guy who scored eight goals last season yeah. in, in the league. Yep. What did he score this season? I don't know. Eight goals. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think they both Get those teams still need some strikers. For. Anyway. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up at Chelsea. Um, what, any big calls? Martin Zuber Mendy to Arsenal. Ooh, okay. Yeah, from yeah. Sociedad. Don't mind that. Arsenal will sell eight players, is my guess. Eight. Eight. Jeez. I'm if, if the over-under is six and a half, I'm taking the overs. Okay. Yeah, I could rattle on a day. Nice. Anyway, that is football today done and dusted for this Wednesday. We'll be back probably early next week, maybe Tuesday. Yeah, we Before we head into, because it's International Football Week here in Melbourne. It's yes. going to be awesome. Yes. Stats Guy will be doing content from Tottenham and Newcastle at the MCG. I, I won't be there because I hate both teams. <laughs> Boo. Yeah, exactly. It would be good. Be I'll good. be at the Arsenal game on Friday night. There'll be some content. We'll just have some fun with that. Hopefully we do have some content coming up later next week. Plenty of social stuff coming out. Marcus was here yesterday. We did a bunch of it. Yep. Uh, but we've covered basically everything there. We are done and dusted. Did well. Check out the football videos on TikTok that we've done over the last few days, as well as Facebook, Instagram, X. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up. Five-star rating and a review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Thanks to... Uh, Gerald behind the camera, not Leo. Thanks to Olivia this yeah. time. Yeah. Good job over in the corner there, Leo, you weirdo. <laughs> Thanks, Stats Guy. Thank you. All right, we'll catch you next week on Football Today. Hopefully I'm celebrating. We are done. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.